Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to dual boot Windows 8 and Windows 7. So go ahead and insert your Windows 8 CD. With your Windows 8 CD inserted, right click on the computer to the left of the screen and click manage. You may have to click accept if a prompt comes up and asks you. Now on the left again, underneath the storage tab, click disk management and then open up a calculator or use a calculator. So with the hard drive selected that you want to eject, or well, split into a second hard drive, right click and click shrink. Now depending on how many gigs you want to give Windows 8, uh, type in the amount of gigs that you want and times that by 1024. So as you can see it says 3720. So, well, 3000, or 30,720. So go ahead and type that into the enter amount of space and megabytes you want to shrink. Now that's going to shrink the hard drive. So as you can see it says unallocated space and that's the 30 gigs I gave it. And if I click refresh here on my computer it's telling me that I am now 30 gigs less from what I had before. Go ahead and click restart on your computer. Now you're going to need to learn what it is to, uh, to boot into your boot options. So in this computer it is the escape key to boot into the boot menu. So I'll show you here. Sometimes it's sometimes it's F8, sometimes it's F12, it all depends. So on here, mine's telling me it's F12, or uh, escape, and now you're gonna wanna boot from CD-ROM drive. So select your CD-ROM drive and hit any key to boot from the Windows 8 CD. Once Windows 8 installation boots up, go ahead and click next, select your, select your language, do all that. Go ahead, click next, and install now. Now, when it's going to install, so set up starting, go ahead and agree to the terms of use, and click custom install. Now you're going to want to select the unallocated space hard drive that you selected for. Make sure you have that selected. If you select the wrong one, it will delete your other operating system. So go ahead click next and let that go through and install. And um, Windows has installed. When you restart the computer or when the computer restarts, you're going to see this menu come up that says choose an operating system. Now this is when you're going to want to make an option. If you're going to be using Windows 8 more, leave this like it is and don't touch anything. Now if you're going to be using Windows 7 more, go ahead and select the options and click choose a default operating system. Select Windows 7 so that way when the computer turns on it's going to instantly give you an option to boot from Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, if you just want to completely use Windows 8 and just use Windows 7 every once in a while, go ahead and leave Windows 8 selected. And um, that's about it. So thank you for watching very much. Um, Hopefully you'll have some new videos out soon. Give me some ideas of what you think I should make a video on or what you need help with. But that's about it, guys. Go to my website, www.elmuck1.tk. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later, and goodbye.